Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and I want to wish you happy holidays. I wish that all your dreams come true in the new year. It has been a very tense, very crazy 2020 and I'm really happy that we're finally out, <laughs> over with and moving into the new future, new adventure. Me and Keen actually have a gift for you just to finish off this year and it's a very exciting opportunity guys. Um, I've already worked with Keen last year so for those who don't know, Keen is the one of the largest platforms for psychics, astrologers, tarot readers, any kind of metaphysical experts that you can imagine. Keen offers many different ways on how to connect with the expert, uh, whether it's an online chat or a phone call. They have somebody online there pretty much any time. So even if you go on there in the middle of the night, there is a very high chance that there will be many, many experts online that you can choose from. And of course, they do offer reviews that you can read before you contact an expert. Now, I just wanna share my experience from last year because I really, you know, I didn't just work with Keen. They gave me an opportunity to play around on the website, to contact different readers, to get readings done, you know, phone calls and chats and so on. So I did choose a few readers and I did have uh, quite a few readings from them. I did read reviews. I went by reviews, you know, even though I work in a similar industry, I'm actually pretty skeptical, believe it or not. So I went ahead and I talked to a few experts and now a year later it is pretty spooky because especially one of them was very spot on she predicted my pregnancy in 2020 she described my partner in full detail she was describing many different events that i couldn't even think of back then and now a year later i realized how spot on she was with all these little details then i contacted the other lady and it was a phone call and i gave her a couple of projects that i wanted to do and right off the bat she told me this one is going to work this one is not going to work and she was spot on as well the project that she told me wasn't gonna work did not work out the other one actually did and then i did run into someone that wasn't quite spot on maybe i just didn't connect with her energy and she didn't connect with mine but what i'm trying to say guys that if you read reviews if you feel the connection with the reader if you feel like this is someone that you resonate with uh try it out see for yourself like i said a year later i can definitely give better feedback, and yes, things that they have predicted have resonated with me. They have happened. So the gift that me and Keen are offering you is for new customers only, $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. You can use these 10 minutes to either start a chat with an expert, a phone call, whatever you prefer. And of course, I always recommend to read reviews before you start a chat or a phone call. That way you know what to expect or that way you can see what other people have experienced with this particular expert. And of course, Keen offered me a link, my personal link that you can use to sign up for this deal for $1.99 for the first 10 minutes. It is trykeen.com111. You can use that link as a new customer. Sign up, the sign up process is very easy. This website is very addicting, but at the same time, very fun. And um, I think a lot of people, especially right now, wanna know what 2021 can bring, especially after such a tough year. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity to share with you guys. And yes, of course, I am an affiliate. Just wanna, just wanna let you know that, okay? <laughs> However, this is a really great deal, really great discount. And of course, I'm really happy to share it with you. Now on to the yearly readings. Hi Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. And this is going to be your 2021 tarot reading, finally crazy year is over and now we are going to enter some kind of a new stage um, after the shaky crazy 12 months so i do have a 2020 yearly forecast on my channel i have a video there if you want to check it out before you watch this one uh, just to know whether or not it has res resonated with you most likely if the previous one resonated with you this one is also going to resonate this time so let's start and let's see what sagittarius can expect to happen in the beginning of 2021 Let's see, middle of 2021, and 
<sighs> the last few months of 2021. Okay. So Seven of Cups is at the bottom. Now Seven of Cups can talk about emotional roller coasters. It can talk about many different opportunities coming your way, uh, many different options. And yes, this can cause sometimes some emotional turbulence where you need to choose. You understand the pressure of needing to choose, but you don't really know what to go with. You could be at the crossroads like that already, okay? Or this could be possibly a theme of 2021. Lots of options, lots of opportunities, lots of directions, lots of doors. Which one do I want to open, right? Um, Seven of Cups can also talk about different emotional experiences, guys, throughout 2021. And yeah, it's very appropriate for 2020, you know, all of those different emotional experiences. But for 2021, it's also a thing because, you know, with Seven of Cups, you are, sorry, with Seven of Cups, you're always wondering, you know, maybe there is something better out there. Maybe, you know, I should have... I don't know why he's meowing like that. I think he just wants attention. You know, <laughs> he always does it when I'm recording. That's just insane. Um, you know, maybe like I should have chosen this path and so on. There will be doubts. There will be happy moments. There will be some con concerns maybe on the emotional level. There will be some... Uh, relief as well. You know, there will be many different emotions um, accompanying you throughout 2021. Now, we're starting out with Four of Wands. This Four of Wands does talk about harmony, peace, not really having to worry, relationships flowing naturally, relationships between people are very, um, making you feel content, you know, they're very uh, simple, I would say. <laughs> I see him. And, you know, with four of wands, this could talk about um, you finding peace. Yes, in the beginning of the year, and yes, the energies from uh, 2020 can still be obviously lingering. You know, they're not just going to disappear in a snap of a finger. And eclipses are happening in your sign throughout 2021. So big year for you anyway. But it either is calm before a storm in some way, right? Maybe um, a little bit more of a calm environment before you have to undergo some changes or some exciting new events. But also for ones is spending time with the loved ones, spending time with people that matter the most. Why is for ones here? Also for those of you that are in relationships, that are new to relationships, um, you know, someone that hesitated to get into a relationship, somebody that maybe have lost a relationship before. There is a sense of you upgrading here in some way, changing your status from, let's say, single to um, in a relationship, maybe in a relationship to engaged or something like that. Um, but, but I do believe it's going to resonate more with people that have been single maybe and either have lost someone or, or maybe had certain issues happening in their relationships. We do have Queen of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. So uh, this is about your energy here. Now, it doesn't really have to be you. It could be another person where mm, it's time to act. 2020 could have taught you how to be content on your own, um, how to get things done, how to not rely on others possibly, but only rely on yourself, which is always very helpful. This year, however, is teaching you how to get out of the emptiness, right? Get out of something that not, not, no, not only no longer serves you, but doesn't really bring you any peace. Um, 2021, I feel like it wants you to be um, surrounded by people. It wants you to trust. It wants you to make connections, make acquaintances. It doesn't want you to do it all by yourself now. And with Ten of Cups and 401s, this is just a confirmation 
that there might be someone out there that really cares a lot for you someone that wants harmony and peace in the relationship with you and it, it is someone that can make you very happy but also it is someone that uh, you can make very happy it's mutual you know what I mean ten of cups the energies are mutual here there are no um, imbalance and this is something that you could be greatly focused on in the few, the beginning months of 2021 where um, maybe you're going to realize how much you care for someone or maybe someone else is going to realize how much they care for you. And from all the independence and having to do it all on your own, you are going to, um, you know, kind of develop something here that's maybe romantic, harmonious, lighthearted, very simple, very sweet. Um, it's nice, it's nice, it's like cozy. You know, the beginning of the year is very, very cozy for you. And also Three of Cups could talk about, especially for you um, singles, you know, go out there, be out there, talk to people, interact. You know, with Three of Cups, this is about um, just socializing. I understand it's inappropriate to say right now, still during the pandemic, but Three of Cups wants you to, to chat with people, wants you to go, be out there in a way where you can get noticed. You know what I mean? Especially if you want a relationship or something. Uh, same goes for business partnerships and things like that okay friends as well and for people that you have may have been in the argument with uh someone that may you know maybe you may have um had your differences in 2020 now you know with uh three of cups this does talk about um you kind of uniting together again which is wonderful peace is coming in some way now we have nine of wands towards the middle of the year and this could talk about you being tired of something, maybe there are too many projects going on, but you are persevering here, you know, you're not giving up. And I feel like it's very typical for Sagittarius, you know, not to give up, to continue going. Here you are, your card came up, Knight of Wands, and here is Nine of Cups. So whatever you're going to be doing in the middle of the year, guys, whether it's for work, for hobby, uh, I don't know what it is exactly, but this is going to be um, something that gives you so much fun, so much enthusiasm. It's something that you love to do. It could be something, by the way, that may return from the past with Six of Cups, where it was a hobby, it was some kind of an activity that you loved doing in the past, that you loved to be a part of, but you may have had to put it on the back burner, you know, due to certain events in your life. And now it's almost like you can come back to it. And there is a little bit of selfishness. I'm sorry, pregnancy heartburns are the worst. I just, I can't even, I can barely breathe. And it's just, it, it feels like somebody threw a match, lit match down my throat. So with Night of Wands, you know, this is about travel as well. But, but travel, I want to say for fun. You worked very hard here towards the middle of 2021, which means, by the way, <laughs> that, you know, a few months ahead, yes, you might have to work, you might have to work a lot, but at the same time, it will pay off. Yes, you may have worked hard, it may have been something like a challenge to you, but here you are able to do what you love, here you are able to do what you want, whether it's actual travel, you know, and finally, like I've been seeing for a lot of signs, you know, I've been seeing some sort of travel or shift um, towards the middle of the year. And yes, this could be when all the restrictions are completely lifted. Um, this could be when maybe you're really free to travel now. Um, or maybe, uh, you know, certain the situations just shift finally in your life. Uh, maybe the crisis is no longer affecting you or something like that. So regardless of what it is, the middle of the year is, seems to be very uh, fun. Okay, it seems to be pleasant. It seems to be full of activities that you actually enjoy doing and, you know, love doing and not something that is required from you, not something mandatory. And again, it's, it has a direct connection from the past. I would say also, if you are planning to see someone from the past, if you, um, I just broke the deck to see what else was there and I got Ace of Pentacles. 
whether it's maybe travel for some kind of career opportunities, right? Maybe it is um, some sort of um, hobby that you want to turn into a business. Um, Ace of Pentacles could be a lot of things, but the most important thing of Ace of Pentacles is that it's a chance. It's a big chance to improve something, get more stable and so on. So you'll have a really big opportunity to do that in the middle of the year. And yes, the eclipses could influence you in the way where the doors will open, some might close, but then the new ones will open as well. Because you know, uh, South Node is uh, in Sagittarius, meaning that Sagittarius will have to face certain, um, I don't even know, the, not challenges, not restrictions, no. But Sagittarius needs to figure out what they need to release and release it either themselves or the circumstances will play out in a way where those things will be released, whether Sagittarius wants them or not, right? It's just how it is this year. There needs, there needs to be a new pattern that Sagittarius creates for themselves. They need a new view uh, of life, of their relationships, of career, whatever this is, guys. And lastly, we have justice. Justice can talk about some legal things finally coming to fruition. Uh, let's say if you've had a lawsuit going uh, ongoing, if you tried to settle something in court, right? If you were going through divorce or something, but for a while, I mean, it's a challenging one. Something here, especially if it's legal, it is going to work out most likely in your favor. But also justice talks about balance, things coming to balance, you um, accepting certain changes in your life and this is how you are balancing out your future. So why is justice here? Oh my God. Well, first of all, after 2021, this is when you can really relax, guys, because um, yes, there are some things in 2021 that are much easier than 2020, but it's like I've been saying, it's a jump start or it's a new start, but it's only like 5% of it. The whole journey after 2020 is so long. It's so um, big right this new adventure but you're only launching it you're making that first little step in 2021 towards it for you however Sagittarius it may you know play out in bigger ways and more significant ways because like I said Ketu is in your sign you know you could really expect more changes there but after 2021, this is your time to truly relax and not even worry about anything, not change anything, not do anything, not have to be involved in anything, just live your life however you build it throughout 2021. Because with justice, you have 601s in the world. 100%, um, if there is a legal situation happening in 2021, you will win, you will resolve it, you will complete it, it will be done. And this connects to immigration, travel as well, the world and justice, they can talk about immigration, right? Legal, travel, legal, uh, uh, you know, residence or uh, getting the citizenship or visa or anything else, you know, again, uh, very successful ventures here. If you are dealing with foreign lands, foreign customers, clients, foreign uh, business partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Also, something here will either shrink your distance or maybe you will have those open doors to travel there now or to deal with those international relationships, to maybe build your business on international relationships or something like that. Internet careers as well. So guys, that's an interesting year, you know, and yeah, just because uh, South Node is in Sagittarius does not mean that you're going to lose everything. Um, you know, karma, um, the nodes, you know, they're not going to strip you bare, okay, completely. 
they're going to get rid of what you no longer need so you can be on the right path so you can enjoy what you have going on and truly relax right but overall it seems like a pretty optimistic year seems like a pretty lucky year and i wish you guys the best and uh happy holidays and i'll see you in my next video and before i actually exit out i forgot to tell you i'm offering personal readings for yearlies right now they're 50 dollars 30 minutes and they're only offered until january 15th because i am going on a maternity leave after that i will no longer be booking uh new Oh, new requests okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.